Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a fun beach themed card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Build a Booth Tiki add-ons. They're Grilling with My Nomi's stamp set and outline dies. They're uh, Ahoy Nomi stamp set and outline dies. Uh, they're Tropical Dies 2, Girl Gnome Dies, Gnome Dies Tiki add-ons, Rectangle Dies, and Scalloped Rectangle Dies, and our Gnome Dies Beach add-ons. And I'm also using uh, Doodlebug's Floral Graph Paper, um, Gingham Linen, the uh, Dot Stripe, all in the 6-inch Rainbow Petite Prints, and I'm using Seaside Summer 6-inch Pad, and then I'm using the Pistachio Gingham Linen 12-inch in the Petite Prints as well on that gingham side. And I put together that gnome on the um, June mini release, mini beach release. And you can check all of these were put out, put together during the Gnome Dyes Beach Add-ons assembly video. So you can check that out. So this is a piece of Paper Tray Ink white cardstock that's cut at eight and a half by five and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter to give you a landscape styled A2 sized card. And I'm using my Teflon bone folder, my Martha Stewart scoreboard, working on my Stampin' Up pad as per usual. And then I went ahead and I cut out uh, paper from that Seaside Summer pad um, with this, the scalloped rectangle die. And it's almost basically the size of an A2 size card front. It's just slightly shy of that. And I'm going to stick that down on the front using um, ATG tape. Just has a fun beach pattern with little crabs on it. Then um, on the inside, I'm going to add a strip of that same paper, what was left over from that strip. And I'm just going to put that down on the inside of uh, my card base. And then I'm just going to stick that down like roughly a quarter of an inch from the bottom. I use my uh, my Stampin' Up pad to try and line things up. So there we go. And then I'll trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. Now I'm going to stamp two sentiments that are going to go on the inside. And that is from the Grilling With My Nomi stamp set. And I'm using Verse Fine Claire Nocturne Ink, my Misty. And I'm just going to stamp them down. And I'll, I will use the outline dies too to cut them out. There we go. That's on Paper Trank white cardstock. And then I'm using the outline dies that match uh, with a little bit of that Easy C tape. And I'm just lining them up. And then I'll run that through my little Gemini machine. There, and I will, like I said, run it through my little Gemini Go. I have that sitting beside me on my desk here. And I'm going to be adding on some flip-flops. And those were cut from the Tropical Dyes too. And the main part of the, the flip-flop was cut from that 12-inch Petite Prints from Doodlebug, um, the dark pis or pistachio on the, on the linen side. There we go. I'm going to kind of stagger them on my card base. There. And then the little toe, the little thong part, or the, you know, the, flip, the part that holds the flip-flop on, is cut from floral graph um, rainbow petite prints from Doodlebug in the hot pink. And I'm going to stick that down. I'm using Barely Art glue. I'm just going to stick that down. Now the little hibiscus flowers are from the Build a Booth um, Tiki add-ons. And I cut them first in Paper Trank white cardstock. And then I'm going to put on the little tiny um, like uh, centers of the flowers with some Barely Art glue and my reverse tweezers. And that is from the Rainbow Petite Prints and the Dot Stripe, also in that um, hot pink. And I'm going to use those as little flowers as decorations on my shoes. You know, I like to put something on the inside of my um, little cards, and I think these are super cute stuff. So there we go. So we've got some decorated little flip-flops. And then I'm going to add the two little sentiments, you're flipping the best, happy birthday. Sort of, you know, four flip-flops, right? Flipping. <laughs> and then we'll stick those down on the inside there. So easy stuff. So the inside of my card is done. And I'm just going to use some post-it tape to sort of make sure that that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink doesn't mess up the inside of my card because it takes a while to dry. Okay, so now I cut out a stitched rectangle. I think this is the three and a quarter by four 
and a half inches or something like that. And I cut out the same um, 12 inch pistachio gingham linen as a frame for it, just a little bit, like a little under of a quarter of an inch, or I think it was a quarter of an inch larger, just to, you know, give a little bit of contrast in between the two layers. And then that little starfish print is from that same seaside stump summer six inch pad. There we go. And then I'm going to create my scene. So all of these little um, images were put together on the um, Gnome Dyes Beach Add-ons assembly video. So you can check that out. So I'm just going to be using all these little pieces that I put together for that video. There we are. And my little gnome was cut from P13 stamping pad skin tones. Her hair is American Crafts uh, yellow cardstock. Her hat is from that Seaside Summer. And then her little flip-flops were cut from the Rainbow Petite prints from Doodlebug um, dot stripe. So, you know, the stripe on the little bases of the, of the um, flip-flops and then the top of the sandal is with the dot. And you can see that I did use a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 to add a few highlights. There we go. And then my Life is Better in Saddles that was stamped in Verse Fine Claire Nocturne Ink onto Paper Trank White Cardstock. So now I'm going to be using Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And I'm just going to pop up this cute little character. There we go. And... Um, just trying to make sure everything lays flat over those uh, little, little um, the surfboard and the two beach balls. And I'm just trimming them, you know, I, I like to make sure everything is nice and flat. I'm using um, scrapbook adhesives for that little flat one, that little black um, foam square. It's just a little bit thinner than the Stampin' Up Dimensionals. I'm just trying to make sure everything lays flat. There we go. Just going to stick it down. Now her little dress is also cut from the Rainbow Petite Prints in Gingham Linen, you know, on the linen side. Okay, now I'm going to put together another hibiscus and this is from the uh, Gnome Dyes Tropical Add-ons, or no, Tiki Add-ons, <laughs> sorry, but they are tropical, right? And then this little layer that is cut from the Dot Stripe from Doodlebug. And then this layer, the same thing, but in yellow. There we go. And then I'll add the little stamen that's cut out of white paper trank cardstock. And I'm just going to add this to her hat to make her a little bit more special, right? And I will pop that up with a Stampin' Up Dimensional as well. There you have it. There we go, isn't she cute? Now she's going to be holding a little chocolate ice cream cone and that was cut from dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink along with Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock and her little hand is that P13 stamping pad skin tones. And I did use a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 to add some highlights to that as well. There we go. Now I'm going to add this little life is better in sandals, but I'm going to use the outline for that sentiment and I'm going to cut it out a few times. So I think I cut it out um, two extra times um, to go behind the sentiment. So I'm just going to layer it up. And then I'm going to cut two more that I will stack. And I'm just going to use the ends so it'll straddle that surfboard and sit, stay nice and level. So I'm just going to add two together here. Just make sure that they're stuck down well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how much I need for either side. Right, so I'm kind of looking. So I'm going to cut off the end there and I will pop up the end. That's the nice thing about the outline um, die sets that match the sentiments. You can do stuff like this, right? And then you don't have to use foam squares on everything. Although there's nothing wrong with foam squares. I like, I like uh, dimensional adhesive. But this is kind of handy to be able to do this as well. And it makes your sentiment look really nice and thick. There we are. And I'm just going to stick that down with that Barely Art glue, making sure it's all level. And I will weight it down with an acrylic block. Now I'm using shape sprinkles from Doodlebug. These are called Love This. And I'm just going to use two little hearts from this set trying to decide what color I'm going to use. 
because that peach on the background is kind of nice, but it was throwing me off. I wasn't sure what color to use. So I'm going to use the, the little hearts that are more reddish in tone. There we go. And I'm going to add two little hearts to the upper left-hand corner, just for a little something. And then there is my card. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye everybody.